is your favourite celebrity? I'd have to say Andrew Tate. Do you like listening to all of his videos and podcasts? Uh, religiously, you know, love the man. Love oh, really? his look of hair. Oh, it's brilliant. So you think he's the top G? Yeah, top G. What would you do if Andrew Tate was standing right behind you? I'd probably cry. Well, look behind you. Andrew Tate. <laughs> it's not Andrew Tate. He's the top F. What? what is your opinion on Andrew Tate? To be fair, I, I rate him. I know a lot of girls don't like him. So he's just speaking for the men, and I, I rate it, you know. It said that whatever you see around you was built by men, women built nothing, their place is at home cooking. Well, I'd rather be at home cooking. <laughs> 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 Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is defined as the belief in social, economic and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for equality of outcome rather than opportunity, feminists are demonizing and emasculating men. She got his name yeah. tatted. I got his name I know. tatted. Come we'll, on. We'll, we'll insert that video right here. Insert clip. The reason that depression is promoted is because it allows you to become ultimately selfish, live inside mm -hmm. of your mind, become obsessed with me, 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 I'm sad, yeah. I'm sad, I'm sad. So you don't pay enough attention to what's going on around you to realize you're getting fucked by ruling class who don't give a shit. And anyone who sits here and tells me, Damn. well, depression's real, you're telling me that your mindset is weak and I'm not gonna adopt the thinking of weaklings. I'm busy living fun life. Damn. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I never viewed it that way, but yeah. He's trying to open up people's minds to certain things. Like you said, a lot of people aren't better or they do better because they're just lazy. If she's only with me for those things, and I'm only with her because she's beautiful and shuts me up, who's more shallow? You. So who cares? That was actually a really good point. I see a lot of men talk about, oh, well, she's only dating him for his money and whatever. And of course, there are girls out there who are just straight up gold. Um, that was Andrew Tate. Um, honestly, I agree with mostly what he was saying. Like. Maybe I need to react to something else that was more offensive or something, but from what I just saw, it wasn't offensive, it made sense, he was making good arguments. Um, so yeah, I wonder, he doesn't, he doesn't seem unhinged either, he doesn't seem crazy, or his opinions and his thoughts didn't seem very crazy. So. Oh, what can I say? He's funny, he's clearly not serious, so I don't know what all the hate about. He's obviously doing it on purpose to make a reaction, but in all fairness, this is what I do as well with my TikTok, and I feel like 90% of people don't get it. But what can I say? There are people with a sense of humor, and there are people who don't have it. So yeah, this is just how it is. <laughs> as there's values, visions, that's almost the same as mine. And some of the views that, or some of the opinions that he said on every podcast or on his videos, actually, it's not a new thing. It's not like something new for me. To hear there's a lot of people having that kind of thoughts as well although that are not a lot, a lot of people that are going to say it out loud as he is but that's not really a new thing you know people were like arguing is this man is dangerous or not i think everything could be dangerous right like dojo cat could be dangerous cardi b could it could be dangerous people are trying to cancel him now and take him off social media platforms it was a guy that made a post and got over a million likes and me personally, don't matter if I disagree with some things that he say, I would never just say get him off the platform, cancel him. Like, to me, someone who 
not trying to cancel someone and literally take away their livelihood and silence them is a hater the definition of a hater and i just don't understand it because if you don't like what someone put out there the content like go to someplace else like why are you reporting them uh, commenting nasty things like i just can never do that myself if this is something that i don't like i just don't watch it or watch something else but just to spread out nasty things like that and trying to take someone off platforms that where they make their money from and stuff to support themselves is just so wrong to me like